Good morning. Ready for another adventure? <sighs> I was hoping to eat breakfast fast. Eat fast. Gossima said he'd show us a secret passage to the school kitchens this morning. Keep it up and you'll become Filch's VIP. Relax, Daniel. It's not like we'll be doing anything bad. Just searching for some more fun places. Oh, look! Post arrived! Ah! It's my first copy of the Daily Prophet. Now we can keep up with current events. And the latest Quidditch standings, of course. And... Hey! <laughs> hey, Colby. Looks like someone fancies himself a cultured sort. Reads the Daily Prophet, he does. That's mine! Give it back, Grot! Or <laughs> what? You'll curse us? Do you even know how to use that one? Him? Maybe not. But we know how to use ours. Cornish Pixie! Nifflesh! Atmosphere Charm! just made an enemy for life, my friend. Yeah, that's right. In fact, you made two of them. Good. If you both hate me, I won't have to learn how to tell you apart, will I? Thank you, everyone. You're welcome. Now, how about you read us some of those current events you mentioned before? Sure. Uh, here's something. The Ministry had to obliviate over 400 muggles after all the statues in Trafalgar Square popped off the pedestals and danced a jig. No one's claimed responsibility, but it must have been not me. Not you? N-O-T-M-E. The Nocturnal Order of Tricks and Magical Exhibitions. They've taken credit for quite a few illegal displays like this. It's quite the scandal. Apparently, the group's goal is to make magic known to all. All? As in everybody? Muggles included? Sounds like trouble if you ask me. Why? You don't think Muggles will accept magic when they see it? One at a time, maybe, but as a group, Muggles tend to be a bit... hysterical, don't they? That's why we've got the, uh... um... what's it called, Kevin? The International Statute of Wizarding Secrecy. Right. That one. Now, if you'll excuse us, we've got our own secrets to uncover. Come on, Kevin. I don't know. Should we keep magic for muggles? What do you think, Daniel? Well, keeping magic a secret seems rather selfish, doesn't it? It might actually do some good to be more open with muggles. Maybe not all of them, but... So, Daniel Page wants to make magic with muggles. Contemplating a life of crime, are we? Or are you just looking to see your name in the paper? I'm not a criminal, Cassandra. No? You sound like one. Personally, I find the whole thing ridiculous. Silly muggles, scared of their own shadows. Frightening muggles isn't funny. If you couldn't do magic, you'd be scared too. Let me guess. 
Mummy is a muggle, isn't she? Shut up! She's not worth it. And I suppose you have something against the non-magical, is that it? Not at all. My uncle is a muggle and he's hilarious. I just have a greater respect for the law, unlike some people. Sounds to me like you don't respect anyone, except yourself. Charming. Ivy, the girl who was late on the first day of school, trying to teach me some sort of lesson. Shut up, Cassandra. You don't know what you're talking about. You just watch yourself, Daniel Page. My father works for the Ministry. One owl from me, and you'll be locked up in Azkaban with all the other criminals. See you in class, Ivy. Oh, unless you're late again, that is. Ignore her, <laughs> Daniel. She's just a bully. I'm fine. Let's go before... Wait. Where's Ivy? Excuse me. Did you see our friend pass by? I saw two friends pass by, although the second did not seem very friendly. In fact, the way she was glaring at the first, I'm not so sure they were friends at all. That doesn't sound good. Which way did they go? Around the corner. Better hurry before someone gets hurt. Hey, Cassandra! Ugh, you again. What is it, Ivy? You didn't really get lost again, did you? I don't care what you say about me, but you should apologize to Daniel. Apologize for what? Telling the truth? <laughs> oh, Ivy, you're not going to fight me over Daniel Page, are you? You should learn to choose your friends more carefully. That boy is no good. Daniel is not a criminal! of armor. It's all gone. Vanished. Ivy, did you mean to do that to Cassandra? That's crazy. No, I swear. I have no idea what that was. I have no idea why I cast that spell. But that's a powerful spell, Ivy. Where did you even learn it? Did I? I really can't remember. Evanesco is a very advanced spell, especially for a first year student. And you can work on your memory in detention. All three of you. Ugh, do we really have to polish every suit of armor in the corridor? Without magic? That's what the professor said. I'm sorry. If I could control my temper, we wouldn't be in this mess. It's my fault. I shouldn't be so sensitive about my family. It's just... she got under my skin. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Cassandra should be the one apologizing. I don't get it. How can a person be so cruel? I can't believe she hasn't even got detention. She's probably had more experience avoiding punishment. And that's a lesson you'll need to learn. Unless you want to spend all your free time in detention. Yes, Professor Longbottom. And I am sorry about what happened. I still don't remember where I heard that spell. Heard and practiced, Miss Warrington. Evanesco is not an easy spell to master. Keep thinking on it. And polishing. Good night. You really don't remember, Ivy? No. I just... I just know how to use it. I don't know where I learned it. Or who taught it to me? Hornish pixies! Spiders! Niffler! Look at the mess! I want... Don't even bother! Fantastic bombs! 
Astonished Pixies. Monster Boys. I'm exhausted. Let's never get in trouble again. Oh, agreed. I solemnly swear that I'll only do good, starting now. Hello, my friends. I have news. The sneaky girl is off sneaking. Sneaking? What girl? What do you want about Bassamer? That girl who made trouble for you, the blonde one. I kept watch over her to make sure she didn't try to do anything evil ever again. I think he means Cassandra. If she's sneaking around in the middle of the night, that is suspicious. It doesn't mean she's being evil. She might be, I don't know, sleepwalking. Oh no, my friends. She was most certainly wide awake and up to no good. I'm sure of it. I heard her talking to the two boys that looked like one. She clearly mentioned Ivy and Daniel by name and said she knew family secrets that would require investigation and possibly expulsion. Okay, that doesn't sound good. She might be out to get us. Fine, maybe we should see what she's up to. Then it's settled. Where did she go, Gossamer? They're here. All three of them. Thanks, Gossamer. You are most welcome. Be careful, my friends. What are they doing? This light? They must be sneaking into the restricted section. I don't think so. It looks like they're in the periodical section. Reading? That's not very devious. Maybe they're just doing homework. No, Cassandra didn't want to be seen. She's up to something. I agree. So, what do we do? I'm not sure. Maybe if we... Wait! One of the twins seems to have left. Spying on us, eh? Cassandra, look what I found. Daniel Page and his little friends. I'm not surprised. Through with detention already? <gasps> or are you just lost again, hoping to be rescued? You're the one who's going to need rescuing, Cassandra. Breaking into the library after hours? That'll get you detention for sure. It's not breaking in if you have written permission from the head of your house. That doesn't prove anything. And what were you looking for? We couldn't wait until morning. Something you don't want anyone else to see, perhaps. On the contrary, I'd be happy to share. It's just a little local history. Here, I'll give you a clue. How much do you really know about each other? Or about each other's families? What's that supposed to mean? It means some people aren't who they say they are. 
You don't know anything about my family. Cornish Pixie. Spider, look Are at you. you. Don't even bother. Monster Boss. <laughs> You don't even know a thing about each other. What would you know about friendship, Cassandra? I know who I can trust, Daniel Page. Is everyone all right? Nothing a good healing spell can't fix. Stand still, Daniel. Epiphany! Thanks. And thanks for sticking by me. 
You must think I'm loony for starting a fight over nothing. Cassandra's all talk. She doesn't know anything. Actually, I think she does. About my family. The truth is, most of them are in prison. They pulled my family with the bloody pages and the papers. That is good speech. That's why I like it here. Nobody knows who I am. It's my secret. This is from a muggle newspaper, isn't it? Yeah, Dad's a muggle. My older brother Reggie, he's a squib. They're both in a muggle prison. It's just me and my older sister now. What about your mother? Wait, I do remember something. Is she in Azkaban? How... how could you know that? I don't know. I just... remember. I must have read about it. Is it true? Yes. It's true. Mom's a witch. So when Dad was arrested, she tried to help. But only ended up scaring a bunch of muggles. She didn't mean to hurt anyone. But the Ministry still accused her of being part of Not Me and sent her to Azkaban. All because it's illegal to perform magic in front of muggles. It's a stupid law. I'm sorry we can't change the law. But we can't keep your secret. We won't tell a soul. We promise. That's right. And if Cassandra thinks she knows something, we'll just have to make sure she forgets it. I might know an advanced memory charm we can use. Thank you. That means a lot. Come on, we'd better get back. If Filch catches us, it'll be detention. Or worse. What about Cassandra? We still never found what she was looking at. Whatever it was, we'll find it later. Come on, let's go. Thank you. 